Yo, 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 Big Kish back up in here, man. Y'all already know what time it is. About to hit y'all with another one. As of late, y'all already know, Yo Gotti brother, Big Jug, had passed away. But we got some new details about the uh, the, the murder, y'all. So uh, let's just check it out. You know I don't like to hold y'all. Let's get it. Lyft driver, passenger helped shoot a victim in Tesla, Memphis, Tennessee. Police say a Lyft driver and his passenger came to the aid of a man shot several times while driving his Tesla in East Memphis. It happened late Friday night at Poplar Avenue and Ridgeway Loop. The female passenger in the Lyft told investigators they were southbound on Ridgeway Center Parkway approaching the Ridgeway Loop when they pulled up next to the victim's Tesla and noticed multiple bullet holes in the driver's side window. The woman said she could also hear the victim was in distress. She said she tried to help him out of the Tesla before police arrived. The victim, who was also shot several times, was transported to Region 1 Medical Condition, I mean, Medical Center in Critical Condition. Officers located several spent shell casings from a rifle and a handgun near the Tesla and said vehicle from nearby businesses showed the victim was being followed by a white Ford Explorer before the shooting. MPD has released photographs of the Explorer. If you have seen it or have any information that you can help, and I just want y'all to look at this. Just look at this real quick. Let me see. Let me stop going so fast. Does this look familiar? Black. So what everybody know is that the getaway car, when Big Jill got hit up, the getaway car was a white Ford Explorer, kind of identical, well, identical to this car right here, this SUV. So, you know, your boy, this Seti Nash, by the way, he be getting all, like, he be getting a lot of the latest uh, news and all that. I think he one of the ones who said Big Jug, I uh, meant Yo Gotti mother was in the car, which I think he going to uh, backpedal on that and uh, correct himself on that, too. Black rims on it, black tints. Does this look familiar to y'all? Mm, 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 mm. People on it, though. Yeah, that's the same exact vehicle that they used to kill Big Jook in. But who was in the vehicle? Take a look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show y'all the Facebook of Marcus Leak, right? And, um... He was a well-known dude in Memphis that was known for doing oh, security. Shit. He's an affiliate that nigga in Memphis. Leg for real. Um, he was a well-known dude. Oh shit! Uh, he the one who uh, who ran the security, but he he gonna he gonna go into the, he gonna go into I ain't gonna spoil it for y'all. Y'all gonna... in Memphis that was known for doing security. He's an affiliate. He's not signed to CMG. He's his own boss. So I don't want y'all to get on my case and be like, bruh, hey, man, no, 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 no. So he's just an affiliate of CMG. He's somebody that every, everybody go to and they want security. Stuff and everything like that, right? I'm going to show y'all. I was getting a little, I got to keep on scrolling down. But Big Boogie right here, he does security for Big Boogie. Now, what y'all going to see is eventually it's about to start popping up. Unfortunately, he's a Cowboys fan. That's Glorilla right there. Bowleg name was Bowleg because the nigga literally was Bowlegging. Because <laughs> it's one of them ones in Memphis that y'all hit up when y'all go do security. But he literally, and y'all can see this is why he got his name Bowleg. Oh, can shit. That shit crazy. What type of security he going to do like? <clears throat> Man, let me st not run my mouth. Literally see all of this stuff on the man's damn Instagram. He started to go on the road and do security for Glorilla. So this was Glorilla's security guard. Right. So for all of y'all about to get on here and lie and set in Ash's cap and all that and everything like that, I don't need to lie. All everybody has to admit now, Seti Nash was right about the mom being there. Yeah, I got it wrong on cuz, I mean on her, I don't mean to call her cuz, my bad. I got it wrong on her basically getting out the car and everything like that. But once again, she was coming to the car. But let's get into it. So he, so he corrected himself, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> percent get it is that the police did it but if you look at the top right you see those lights at the top 
those emergency lights right there, when you're looking, y'all got to make sure you're trying to, quote unquote, destroy your own theory. So that way, whatever somebody is going to say against you, they can't use against you. On the very top of that, there is no sunroof because they had to put the lights up there. So if you see this vehicle right here, right, there is no way in hell that this could be a police car. I just want y'all to understand that. This so I guess somebody was saying that that was the uh, po that was a police car. <clears throat> this car is blacked out. You see the you see the rims. Oh, you see the shit. top of that. You even see the little bars over there for yeah. bikes, quote unquote. So yeah, when y'all looking at this stuff and everything, I want y'all to make sure that we're paying attention to how to say that this ain't it. Remember, this is on the first. Uh, I mean, the fifth of January. This is the. So this the getaway car, y'all. This the getaway car that uh that fleet uh the scene with Big Juke had uh passed away. Car right here. That is the same exact vehicle. So make sure when y'all making y'all. I'm not gonna say it's the same exact vehicle because I'm way in another state. Even himself probably shouldn't be saying that. But the motherfuckers do identical like a motherfucker. Yeah. What y'all think, man? Write in the comments. What y'all think? Y'all think it's the same joint? So make sure when y'all making y'all theories, y'all try to stop your own theory by making sure that you're putting in everything that can discredit your theory. So that way, you're good. Let's see what he talking so about. So as you can see, that was the security guard for CMG, basically. One of them. Now, they got a bunch of them, but that's one of the head ones. He done done security for Big Boogie and Glorilla for years. Uh, this is just a rumor. So, so take this with a grain of salt. He was supposed to be doing security detail for everybody up there as well. And they smoked him. They were sending a message. They're chopping down CMG security before they even got started. So when we say cats ain't moving correctly in Memphis, everybody notice is who can you trust? So as it goes. Oh, so that's the security that got hit up with Big Jook. With Big Jook. Okay, okay, okay. I thought he was trying to say that that was his car or something like that. Okay, yes. Because I know. I know somebody else got, I think they're in critical condition or something like that. They're in critical condition. I don't know if they made it. I got to check it out. I it's staying it right now. They spin it on CMG like a mug. I'm not going to say that they spin it for Dolph or anything like that because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not putting that out there unless I 100% know. But, and that would be after an arrest is made. Then we can go, oh, yeah, he's connected here and he's connected here. They definitely were spinning like for dog. Because then that's when we can say it. Everybody else that's jumping out the window and all that and everything, I get it. Because these rumors are out on the streets. Niggas are reaching out to all of these bloggers and sending info and stuff like that. So what I'm not going to do it. And that's another thing, y'all. People in Memphis that's around the area. What they'll do, they'll reach out to bloggers and try to get a quick payday off of people. Be like, yeah, I got the information, I got the information, but really it's just false information. So I really, what I what I like to do is just give y'all different perspectives of these like uh, more top bloggers to see what they got to say. And then, you know, we bring in that information like that. But yeah, what y'all feel? It's still a sad situation, you know what I'm saying? As, as information unfold. I'm going to be following it. And, yeah, y'all like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what y'all feel about that car, man. What y'all think going on? Y'all think it's the same car or what? Big Kish signing out. I'm gone.